Good judgment comes from experience, and a lot of that comes from bad judgment. Subscribe now. Dolly's on a bike. I'm gonna be careful if we get ourselves knocked off the way they're, they're riding. The way they're riding the bike. You're bleeding pervert. Uh, well, you're the pervert. Well, we're just stating a fact of riding a bike. They're sitting on it, you bleeding fool. Yeah, so this is working out okay so far. I thought I was gonna get out of doing that one to Brown, to Braun, but uh, your man's like, oh, I think uh, I've taken off too many pallets. And I'm like, no, no, you're fine, really. No, no, I think I've taken off too many. <laughs> Not to worry. Yeah. Don't, uh, don't just barge out there. Good lad, good lad. Just barge your way out. That's the style. Bleeding fuel, Ned. Not really that sunny. And I... Because it's warm enough as it is without that. Tell me what temperature it is. 28 degrees. Bloody thing. Turn that off, will you? Hey, I just turned it off, Mo. Take the interchange on the left. Late noise of it, Ned. Yes, I know it's noisy, Mo. Prepare to bear left soon. Yes, dear. So we're we're popping along nicely here. We're we're only 1.9 kilometers from our exit. Um, I don't know where this. I've never been to this place before, but it's no it's no it's no biggie. It's no biggie. Now this is handy because like this is my turn anyway. I mean, if I didn't have to do that delivery in. If I didn't have to do this delivery, I'd still be going this way anyway. This place must be nearly somewhere near the um, the edge of the road or edge of the motorway somewhere because it's only seven minutes away and I have 4.5 kilometers to go on this road. Handy, handy haulage. What do you think of that, Mo? Little handy, all right, Ned. You always get the handy ones. I do my shite, get the handy ones. Most of this work for this company, Mo, is one drop. 
one droppers most of the time. I have four drops. One in Paris, one in Barcelona, one up in the up near Zaragoza, and then I have to go to Soria, which is up near Madrid. So how is that handy? Oh yeah, maybe not. Maybe not as right. Oh there's the there's the factory there, look. De Brown. There it is. In six hundred meters, take exit twelve toward La Bisbal del Panadas, Narek del Penis. That's a mouthful. I see bottles of pish thrown out on the side of the road. I mean, what kind of an animal would do something like that? Open the window and fire it out on the road. In 500 metres, at the roundabout, take the second exit. Hold her back, Betsy. Hold her back. Hey. Well, I, knew, I know this, this one is working because the truck just gone through it. And that's kind of my theory. It's very narrow though. Does it really have to be that narrow? Okay. I have to jump through a few hoops of roundabouts here before we get down to Brown. Brown, sorry, Brown. Jesus Christ. Exit the roundabout. In 600 meters at the roundabout, take the second exit. Lovely. Jeepers, that road is not in great condition. Now we're going left here. Is it? Hold on. This way? Okay, yeah. I'm digging, yeah, I'm digging. Big old spot this. I'm assuming it's around here somewhere. Common we overtake. In 400 meters, turn right. Yeah. Oh, fucking twat. Oh. Turn right onto Cara de Montmel, then turn right. Go on, go on. Not the only one that's hot. Shut up, Mo. Oh, Ned. Uh, yes, Grandad. What is it? Oh, how much longer do we have to wait here to unload these six small pallets? Uh, I'm not sure. Hopefully, not too much longer. Oh, I'm dying with the heat, with the hunger. And with the thirst. Blade hell, Grandad, you didn't have to come, why didn't you stay at home? 
Shut up, Mo. Is there anything you can do to help me, Ned? Oh, I'm beginning to lose the will to live. Great. I hope you bleed and die, you old fool, ya. Mo, is it really necessary to be such a horrible man all the time? Really? Oh, I think I'll go and lie down. Yeah, you do that, Grandad, and don't wet the bleeding bed. Ned, why is he so horrible all the time? I don't know, Grandad. It's just his nature. He doesn't mean it. I think he does. Do you think Mo means to be horrible people? <laughs> I think he does. Bye bye. Okay, so we're out of Braun. Um, we arrived there at two o'clock for a half past four booking time and we were called in at half past five. So I was three and a half hours sitting outside the gate, which is, it's a bit soul destroying really, considering I have a, I have a four hour drive ahead of me now um, that I'm not gonna get done. I wanted to get up to Soria tonight to park up, take my time off and tip first thing in the morning in Soria. But um, I've only got, I've only got less than an hour left on my time now. And that's the way it goes. You know, um, expect the unexpected. You know, uh, everything went according to plan up until then. I went in to my first delivery, no problem at all. Tipped quite quickly, went to my second delivery. And it all come to a stop. But look at, that's the way it is. This is the, this is the joys of motoring, you know. As soon as you plan something, something happens to unplan it for you, <laughs> if you could say it that way. So I'm heading up the mountains here. I'm on the, I'm on the road basically that goes from Barcelona to Madrid. And Zaragoza would be sort of in between the two. And the place I'm going to, which is Soria, is closer to Madrid than it is to uh, Zaragoza. And that's where I'm at. Um, I am going to, I go as far as I can. I just check in the services there. There's a service in 30 kilometers and there's one in 60 kilometers. Does it make any difference at this stage in the day? Not really. It doesn't make any difference. So I'll just go to the one up ahead that's six, that's 30 kilometers away. And, uh, I'll park up there for the evening. It is currently 29.5 degrees centigrade. So it's just under 30 degrees. Now, come here, this is Spain we're talking about here, so. It's not surprising. We've had good temperatures at home for quite a while. So, it is what it is. You know, a bit disappointed now to get th delayed three and a half hours because I would be within a half an hour now of um, my final delivery point. And I would be in there first thing in the morning, goods delivered. Um, but I'm gonna have to use three hours of tomorrow's driving that I should have used today, if you get me. I had, I, had, I had the driving time. I got four hours and 19 minutes driving left, driving time left. But I'm not able to use that four hours and 19 minutes driving time because my maximum daily working hours is 14 hours and six minutes. I've actually been on duty today. 
So I've only got 54 minutes left and I must stop then. It doesn't matter how many driving hours I have left on my card. My daily maximum work of 15 hours is up. Which is a terrible shame. It really is because the way I had planned it out, I would have got to where I'm going, parked up, took my 10 or 11 hours off or whatever, and I would have been able to tip first thing tomorrow morning and then drive to the area where I'm going to be reloading on Thursday or Friday, well on Friday. Uh, tomorrow's, tomorrow's Wednesday. I have to take a 24 hour break on Thursday. So tomorrow's my last driving day. And rather than having a fresh nine hours in the bag for to go wherever they want me to go in Spain, I've now got six hours. And if you understand the way it works, I've lost three hours of my driving time by sitting outside that factory for three and a half hours. Now, I went in and there was no other truck in the whole factory unloading when I went in. It, it just beggars belief. I was reading some of the reviews on it, on this factory, and they're telling me a uh, minimum two to three hour delay getting unloaded. Uh, so I, when I read that and your man said to me, give us your phone number, I was horrified. I knew, well, this is not going to be easy. And, but I didn't expect three and a half hours delay. You know, two o'clock until half five before I was called in the gate, three and a half hours. Soul destroying, it really is. And I can understand what people are saying about the RDCs or the NDCs, the National Distribution Centres um, in, in the UK, where you have a load of wine on, they need the wine, you arrive a day early with it or you arrive there at 10 o'clock in the morning and you're not booked in until 7 o'clock in the evening. They've loads of room to put the stuff, but they're so pig-headed that they won't take you in, so they make you sit outside the gate for six, seven hours. And there might be no other trucks unloading in the whole factory, and yet they won't take you in until your, until your unloading time. It's absolute madness. It's a, it's a logistical disaster. That's what I would describe it as. Like, I understand if the place is busy, there's too many trucks in there, there's no free doors, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, fair enough. But if someone arrives to your factory with your own produce from a different country and to leave them sitting outside the gate for three and a half hours, which is an hour past their booking in time, and to have no good excuse not to unload it, it's shameful. It's absolutely shameful. It's put me on the back foot now. I have to get up now in the morning and drive for three and a half hours before I have my last delivery. I should be sitting outside my last delivery point in the next 30 minutes. Here ended the lesson. Nothing can be done about it. Drivers ringing up complaining. Nothing can be done. I just simply sent a message to my office saying, got here at two o'clock. It's now four o'clock. Uh, blah, blah, blah and I sent the message, I didn't ring anybody, there's no point. They read the message, they either react to it and do something about it, or they say, well, yeah. But I just let them know because it's not, it's not, it's not my, I don't have the authority to go ringing factories and ringing customers and stuff and saying, here, I'm outside. You know, I wouldn't do that. I just send a message to the office and say, listen guys, I'm stuck here for two hours outside. <sighs> anyway. Are you finished now, Ned? Uh, I'm finished that part of my conversation. A oh, bleeding hell tonight. Would you not give it a rest, no? I I'll give you rest in a minute. I'm going to put you outside. You will not. I might know if you don't shut up. Who's going to look after Grandad if you put me out? Ha <laughs> ha, you didn't think of that? Um, yeah, well, well, well I suppose I'll have to look after him, though. Yeah, you're good at that, Ari. Did you look after Anna Mae too? No, Mo, you did. I got to look after her, all right? I got it in. I don't want to hear about it, Mo. I just don't want to hear about it. This is me now for tonight. If I can find parking, that is.
Mont Blanc Services. That's a good funny name, isn't it? It'll surely be parking somewhere. Follow the road until further instructions. Is this where people park or what? Or oh, this one's a little bit wider. Hola. <laughs> it's all right too, Ned. Yeah, she'll be all right, Mo. Wouldn't kick her out of the bed for farting, Mo. No, would you kick me out? Mo, you wouldn't get in in the first place, Mo. Because you're a dirty old yoke, Mo. You're a dirty old yoke, we all know. We all know, Ned. We don't all know, Mo. Nobody knows, and that's the way it's going to stay, Mo. That's what you think. It's what I know, Mo. It's what I know. Not sure if you can see over to the left of the screen there. Um, the national road that's going in the same direction as we are is running along there. And it's full of trucks. One after another. Truck, 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 truck. And these, these people are probably going to the same place as me or they're going the same direction. But they're not going to pay for the toll road. And it's not the drivers that decide that, it's the company that decides it. The company says, lads, uh, you may head on there on that uh, national road because I ain't paying no toll. It's just the way it is. Now, it's, I don't know whether, you know, they, I, I'd never driven on national roads. Only for a small amount of time if I'm, if you know, if the place I'm going to is not on the motorway, of course you have to. So we're actually going over. We're driving over this national road now and you can see them. If you look down to the right there now, you'll see them. Look down there over there, that bridge there, you'll see all the trucks. See them all there to your right. Yep. I don't know. It's probably quicker. I mean, the national road is more than likely quicker. I mean, what I mean is that it's it's as the crow flies, it's quicker. Whereas a motorway has to meander. But ah, um, oh, I wouldn't bother with the national roads. I know years ago the lads likes to go to used to like to go to these clubs as they call them on the national road, but that, that never held any interest for me. Yeah, bleeding liar! Yeah, you are in one every bleeding week, you liar! Shut up, you! I was not, Mo. You bleeding were. You are famous for going into the clubs, Ned. Mo, you're taking it to somebody else. Yourself a Mulgrew. You are the two worst on the whole place. What whole place? The two years. Why do you think he calls you Newells, Ned? Well, Mulgrew has his own reasons for that, but it's nothing got to do with me going into bag houses, Mo. You bleeding were. You were never out of them. How would you know? Because I was there then, Ned. Remember you used to leave me in the truck and say I'll be back in five minutes? And you come back about four hours later, you liar, yeah. Shh. Enough, Mo. That's that's way in the past. Doesn't matter. You're telling lawyers. You're the bleeding king of the baghouse, Ned. I was not, Mo. Yourself a Mulgrew. The two of you. No, 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 no. I was only ever in one baghouse with Francie Mulgrew and that was down in Newell's that was years ago and I didn't do anything apart from have a few beers you're a liar you're a bleeding liar and this conversation is not going anywhere Mo so we'll just uh, we'll just end it there yeah yeah suit you to end it all right Ned shut up so this is our this is our exit here now for Saria. 
and that's going to be the end of our uh, motorway jaunt for a while turn right at the first exit and follow the N one two two yeah oh well it should be interesting if nothing else This is not what I remember now. I don't know. This is not what I remember. Hope I'm going to the right. Okay, Sorry. You turn left soon and follow the N one two two. Oh do do do. Turn left after 300 meters and follow the N one In two two. Meters, turn left onto N one twenty two. Signs for Magajorn Boha. Just gonna pull in here now for one second. This is not the way I remember going up to Soria. I wonder why that is. Right. Please turn next left. I don't know. This must be it. This must be it. It's not what I remember, though. Continue on at one twenty-two for thirteen kilometers. It's not what I remember. Come hey, chica, y si tú quisieras una sola vez conmigo hay que ser claro lo que quieres beber. Ya pasó tu primavera y el amor que se fue, pero las ganas de darle aumentan cada vez. Uno ni un te amo, 
Solo había sexo, nada cariño, solo pretextos Yo estaría fan si lo lloraría Y no llenarás de fantasías Ya me dijiste lo que quería No eran besos ni poesía Que chica y si tú quisieras Una sola vez Conmigo hay que ser claro lo que quieras here now I know my memory is not that bad that I have I, I, I feel completely lost or anything sorry I was coming into that too quickly there now, I don't know where I'm going here now Ned you cop on to yourself here now where are you going here now where are you going here now okay cop on to yourself now Please turn right. Shut up, you. Exit the roundabout onto Carretera Garay. Continue on N1, 11 for one and a half kilometers. Follow the road for one kilometer. Shut up, you. Cancel. Yes. Stuck behind a tractor now. But in fairness, we've been very lucky now that we haven't been stuck behind anything really bad. This is not the way I came in here the last time, but... Going down there, not a hope. So, what am I after doing now? Then, I'm after going wrong now. Head south on Carretera Garay towards Calais, Enrique Tierno Galvan, then turn right onto Calais, Dr. Fleming. No, turn right onto Calais, Dr. Head south on Calais, Las Casas, toward Avenida Gaia Nunior, then turn right onto Avenida Gaia Nunior. Turn right onto Avenida Gaia, New York. What am I doing now, lads? This is a straightforward run. South on Calais, Las Casas, toward Calais, Jose Joaquin Duran. 
This is a straightforward run in here and I'm after making a complete bags of it. And I'm after finding myself now in in the city here now, which I don't need to be in. Disaster. Yeah. Oh, fucking twat. Oh. Disaster. Neddy boy, neddy boy, neddy boy. So you can't go that road now because that road's closed. Now where am I going to go? Only chance choice I have now is to go back the way I came. <laughs> Head southeast toward Paseo El Oh, this is great. Exit the roundabout onto Calle San Benito, then turn left onto Calle Garcia Solia. This is great altogether. Turn left onto Calle Garcia Solia. Wonderful. Wonderful Ned, wonderful, good lad, and now you're going to run out of time before you get to where you're going. Good lad yourself. Good lad yourself. Good man yourself, Ned.
Oh, these cameras don't like the heat too much. I'm just in FICO mirrors here now, and I don't know whether you got that piece. I actually, I actually, my, I ran, my camera ran out of battery the same time as I ran out of hours after following that bloody Google's maps. And this is a narrow, I, my memory of this is not an awful lot of room here getting around. It's possible to do it all right, but it's just narrow. Um, and I have to go left here now when I get down here and then just pull underneath the canopy and that's where they tip it. Yeah, I've been parked outside on the road for half an hour and the Google Maps, even when I put it in, I said, I'll just put it for pig iron. I'll put it back in again and it was telling me still go somewhere else. Now, as I said, that's the first time that Google Maps has ever let me down like that because it's normally so accurate. But even when I knew where I was going, it was telling me, no, 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 turn left here. And I'm like, what? So this is where you go in here, underneath the... And it's only because I was here before that I know. Under the canopy here. That's it. And you just pull up, literally with your backside, here. This is where I pull up right here on top of this. Now. So this is like, this is Fico Mirrors, Soria. Well, hello people. That's me finished now um, in Soria. I've just um, swept out the back of the trailer. So we're empty and uh, I'm just waiting on a plan of attack from the office now um, someone to give me a general direction I don't expect to get a loading address or anything but even a general direction as to which direction I'm going whether it be north, south, east or west uh, I'm parked in a little kind of a I don't know, is it like a, a county council sort of little bit cut out of the roundabout here it's all kind of rough ground I'll, Give you an idea there that's it there that's where i'm parked it's kind of just like rough ground and there's a petrol station right there i haven't been up to it now or anything i'm um, just finished as i said just finished just finished tipping there uh a oh, very strange occurrence there as i said there you know the last time i came up to uh Surya with vico mirrors which was only one other time uh google maps brought me straight into it and this time for whatever reason and it wasn't that i wasn't following the what i was being told to do it was bringing me completely off um but luckily i managed to get back to sort of what i should have headed for really and i mean if i was thinking properly i should have headed for polio and uh, poliagano industrial and i didn't i came off at a junction before that and I, that's what I, the, the sat nav was telling me to do but i should have said no hold on that sounds a bit dodgy and kept going because like i have to understand that the sat nav doesn't know that i'm a truck so maybe that's the reason but i was very disappointed in it because the last time it brought me off at the correct exit and this time it didn't and even when i was parked outside the place because i, <laughs> my, I ran out of camera and i ran out of um time at the same time i actually did four hours and 31 minutes so i went a minute over um yeah so i don't know i don't understand it how google maps got it so wrong because you'll see you saw there where i was driving around in the middle of Surya, like you know crazy stuff but it's my own fault to an extent yes i need to get a sat a truck sat and have a proper one the one that's in the daf here is okay if you if you have the exact street address but it's no use for postcodes and it's no use for live updates and nothing so it's not really any good um but there's no reason why i can't have my own one um, I've been able to survive around Ireland without one for the last five years, but I'm gonna, if I'm going to be coming out here on any kind of semi-regular basis, I'm, I'm going to have to get a proper one like this. is It's nonsense. I'm just annoying myself, really, like, you know. Um, so that's it. Now, we went in there. We had, uh, I had uh, eight pallets for Vico mirrors there. Uh, they were double-stack pallets, and they were heavy, heavy, heavy pallets. But there's only four, four lifts in it, so push them at the back door bit of a wait to get them off but nothing like yesterday it wasn't three and a half hours waiting and um, so now I'm tipped and I'm ready to go and that's where we're at at the moment the sun is beating down here I'll just give you an idea it's 29 and a half degrees that's probably cool for the Spanish you know but for me that's hot and um, I just swept, swept out the back of the fridge I didn't bring you with me to do that because uh, all you would have heard was pa me panting 
you know um, that's what you would have heard and nothing else so hopefully I get some information in the next couple of minutes and I'm not going to be left languishing here for a couple of hours and um, because I need to I need to get going somewhere in some direction um, yeah and that's it so far all good the first half of the the week done delivery in Paris delivery in Barcelona delivery in Tarragona and Saria finished in Saria now the last time I came out I had five deliveries um, it's no problem it's no problem it's just a lot of driving involved in it you know a lot of maximum days like 15 hour days and 10 hour drives and I'm facing into another one today. If I'm going back to Barcelona, I'm facing into a 10 hour drive. The only way I'm gonna get out of a 10 hour drive today is if I'm loading around um, Madrid somewhere, because that's only about two and a half hours, three hours maximum away from here. But if I'm loading anywhere else, if I'm going to Barcelona again, or if I'm going down to Murcia or Valencia or anywhere at all like that, um, I'm staring down the bar of another, uh, barrel of another 10 hour day. Um, so that's where we're at. You know, it's not all fun. It's not all fun, fun, fun. There's plenty of work to be done and you do get time off. I'll have a day off tomorrow because I, I'm, not, I'm not allowed to drive tomorrow because I've done six. This is my day six. Um, not day six on this trip. You see, I, I worked Monday. I'm sorry, I worked Tuesday and Wednesday last week. I didn't work Thursday. So I worked Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So this is day six for me now. And uh, I can't work seven days a week. So I have to stop and take a 24 hour break. The question is, where am I going to take it? Hopefully I'll know soon. Talk to you then. Bye for now. We have a fella here in front of us now in this Spanish registered um, curtain cider and he's, he's not making any progress, put it that way. He's crawling along. But I know there's a motorway somewhere between here and the end of this road and there should be a couple of opportunities for me to get by him should be because he's crawling along absolutely crawling it's a 90 kilometer zone no reason for it but there you go really have to crawl through these towns because it says 50 kilometers an hour and it means it it's not even a town it's only a it's only a village we passed it on the way up and now we're going the other way Now we can party on again. We have a tractor up ahead here, but it looks like we have a clear road ahead, so we'll be able to get out before anything comes. I got good visibility here, so there's no need for me to be uh, cowering in behind him. Ah la 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 la. Bulb unit. Bulb unit. Bulb unit. This is the place with the sticky outy balconies. That we don't want to take a lump out of our fridge. Like Sean Bajack did years ago with Maguire's when he was down in. Was it Spain or Italy, Sean? You did that? Took a lump out of your fridge, out of your roof, with a, an overhanging balcony or something. Oh, I never forget it. You were sick. Especially for a top man like Sean. Now oh, we're down off the mountain anyway. We've done most of our descent now in the last half an hour or so. Shouldn't be too long now before we're back out onto the main main drag.
shouldn't be too long now another little village Mal Ejan Malijan Borja. You Borja. <laughs> we had this on the way up, didn't we, Mo? Yeah, bleeding Borja. Are you Borja? Yes, I am bored now, uh, Mo, now that you mention it. You Borja? Yes, I am bored. Are you deaf? Are you Borja? Mo, I think there's something fundamentally wrong with your brain. I genuinely do. I think there's something fundamentally wrong with your brain, Mo. Nothing wrong with my brain. I think there is, Moseph. I think there is, Mr. Old Moseph. So we're stopped at the traffic lights in this really busy town. <laughs> oh, it's flat out. Look at all the people. All the lonely people. Where do they all come from? Ah, yeah, shut up. You can't sing. I didn't hear you giving us a tune there, Mo. I might give you one later on when I drink some of them cans you got there. I'll drink a few of them cans you got later on and we'll sing then. Uh, Mo, you have to get your own cans. Ah, bleeding hell then. Where am I going to get the money? Around we go. Continue on N122 for 13 kilometres. This is sharp enough, old one here. I don't want to be catching the side of the fridge on that wall there. You wouldn't drive bleeding nails. Is that a fact, Mosef? Don't call me Mosef. Ned. Yes, Mo, what is it? Come on, give us a few cans later, will you? Well, if, you, if you're nice to me between now and the time we stop, Mo, I might give you a can. I need more than one, Ned. Okay, I'll give you two. No, four. They're only small. Okay, you can have four of them then. When I'm finished with them. <laughs> no way! Ah, then stop acting the bollocks. I'm not knowing. There's no need for cursing. This is a family-friendly program, you know. <laughs> Since when, then? You know it is, Mo. I think that's the, the end of the... That's the end of the villages and that I think we're back on to just the, the link road now out to the motorway. Turn right after 300 metres. Yeah, well that's us now down back onto the dual carriageway or just back onto the uh, motorway. Turn right onto the Please turn turn right. next right, then take the next right turn. there Jack I'll see you on the next hill don't worry 
Yeah, so we're back on the main the main drag. And I uh, don't see any signs for Barcelona yet, but Zaragoza 48. So let me see another 40 minutes, I suppose. Three and a half hours to Barcelona from here, according to one sat nav. And four nines, 36, four. Have I got four though? Oh, geez, I might, I just might. If I can get back to that uh, Port de Barcelona truck stop, I would be so delighted. The only thing is, and the big problem is, that I'm gonna be hitting it at night time, and I might struggle to get parking. You see the big bull up on the hill, moo! Little hell, size of him, Ned. Yes, he's not real, though, Mo. It's only a statue. Looks blade real to me. Look at the balls on him, Ned. You'd be proud of them, wouldn't you, Ned? Uh, Mo, do you have to be so disgusting? I'm just saying, look at the balls on him, Ned. Yes, I heard you the first time, Mo. There's no need to be so fucking disgusting all the time. No need to curse, either. Oh... Bit of an exceptional convoy. What's this guy doing here now? Is he? Oh yeah, on a motorway. Uh, that's right. Yeah, on a motorway, you have to drive behind the convoy, but on a national road, you have to drive in front of it. That's a good one because I'd say he's gone off there now. He must be gone off. It's not really all that big deal of what he has there. A couple of beams there. I wouldn't call that an exceptional convoy, for God's sake. See, that's an interesting one, actually, though. That when you're when you're when you're doing the uh, the exceptional convoys, you have to be behind it on a motorway and in front of it on the national road. Well, I don't know what the reason for that is, but it's obviously a good reason. Another toll bridge. <clears throat> doesn't say how much it is on these let's be curious to know how much they charge there's a few trucks coming this way now there was very very few this morning but there seems to be more going back that's what slightly concerns me and I'll tell you why because all these dudes are all going to be looking for parking tonight. All these dudes. That guy must be empty. I'll get out past him as well here. Yes, sir. You're going too slow, son. Yeah, so we're on our way into Zona Franca. Now, I'm not sure because I was reading some of the reviews on this place that I'm heading to, it's right beside where I'm loading. And I'm just reading some of the reviews, and some of the reviews were saying that um, when you pay your, your money, you pay for your 12 hours, and after that then, if you're still there, they fine you. Like, 12 hours is not gonna be enough for me, because I'm gonna be in there, it's quarter to eight, quarter, sorry, it's quarter to seven now here. I'm going to be in there at half seven, in or around. And I'm not gonna be leaving there until about 11 o'clock tomorrow, so that's 12, 13, 16 hours. So we'll have to see what happens when we get down there. If I can't find parking there, I'll have to I'll have to mooch around and find it somewhere. I don't know, but no more. This is a good thing to me.
pero no tiene nada. Tengo Gucci, Prada, Valenciaga, tú lo que tú quieras ver. Palomo, alerta. Porque tengo los millones, chones, 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 chones. Porque tengo los millones, chones, 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 chones. Porque tengo los millones, tengo los millones, tengo los millones, tengo los millones. Porque tengo los millones, tengo los millones, tengo los millones, tengo los millones. Porque tengo los millones, che, 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 che. Porque tengo los millones, che, 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 che. Nada no me hace feliz, para ti falta yo juego con mi lambo y se mira en tu la banca. Ego centrico como el pana arca. Estoy pegado porque la meta está muy alta. Vamos a volar, a volar, a volar. Vamos a volar, a volar. Vamos, vamos a volar, a volar, a volar. Donde estoy pegado, donde tú no cascarás. Vamos a volar, que no son más de la tierra. Llegó la línea que anda para darle todo guerra. Es que está pegado, siempre es el que me abrirá. Si no lo ha luchado, aquí mismo te entiendo. Como un chupado que lo manda para lavado. Como hora día para brillar en todos lados. Que lo soy un millón, eso no come putado. Soy un millón, 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 chico. Porque tengo los millones, chones, 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 chones. Porque tengo los millones, chones, 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 chones. Porque tengo los millones. Me lleve el dinero porque estoy bien pegado. Que toco montones algo que me acostumbrado. Yo un poco fino, tú no tan enmaestrado. Tú con palomo y yo con chicas de un lado. Ando con chicas nivel bien fifi. El pobre de Drake le coge Kiki. Teniendo wild thoughts con mi chica Riri. Pregunto si sigo. Sí, sí, y me dicen sí, sí Obvio con tus amigas yo le entro en bici Aunque yo estoy bici Esta vaina está bastante easy Hablo en plata pero la soñata Porque de mí yo no saben nada Porque tengo los millones, chones, 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 chones Porque tengo los millones, chones, 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 chones Porque tengo los millones Yeah, so we've come across the border in, in back into France. And we've just come to a complete stop on the hill. Um, now, when I say, I mean, we'd look, we've literally come to a complete stop, and you, we're getting, you're getting the odd, you're getting the odd asshole in uh, going down in the second lane ahead of all the other trucks. We're all, we're all parked. We're all queuing up in lane one here. But you're going to get the dicks that uh, just come down on the outside. Like in other words, I, don't, I I'm not waiting, you know. This is really bad though, it's really, really, really bad. I don't know how long we're gonna be wasting, how long, how long, how much time we're gonna lose here now. We can't afford to lose time, we have to make the use of, of every minute we have. Uh, otherwise, you know, I'm going to, we're gonna be in trouble for this Sherbrooke boat tomorrow. Whatever in the hell name of God is going on here now. It's really disaster, disaster. Fucking scumbags stopping fucking people for no reason. Good morning, my friends from a very busy France. I have, oh, I'm only on the road about a half an hour and uh, we're already literally crawling along at 35 kilometers an hour. I, I could tell as soon as I got up this morning that it was going to be chaos today. So I've sent a message to the office basically saying that the current ETA for my trailer is 1900 hours in Sherbrooke. 
Uh, it's 579 kilometres from here to Cherbourg. And if there was no traffic, you'd probably do it in about seven and a half hours. But uh, I'm going to hit traffic all day long. I'm going to be tortured with traffic all day long. I'm going to be traffic tortured here. We're not even anywhere near a, a major city and we're, we're actually stopped. I'm actually stopped. There you go, handbrake is on and I'm on a motorway. So the prospect for me getting to Cherbourg um, for any boat that's going today before nine o'clock tonight is, is, is almost zero. Um, my instructions were to have the trailer up for the Saturday boat. I'm not sure what time the boat's going at. According to what I can see, it's supposed to be going at three o'clock in the afternoon, which is 1500 hours, but I haven't got a hope in hell. Uh, three, I'm gonna be four hours later than that. I'm gonna be, it's gonna be seven. If all goes okay, I'll be, it'll be seven o'clock by the time I get to Sherbrooke. If all goes like this all day long, it could be nine o'clock tonight before I get there. Uh, entirely depends on what way the traffic is. But I know looking at it and I know from, I'm not gonna say years of experience because I haven't been out here that much lately, but if past experience is anything to go by, I'm going to be stop starting all day long and that's gonna turn a seven hour drive into a 10 hour drive. <sighs> Nothing can be done about it. There's no point in stamping my feet and banging the steering wheel. If the company decide now they want to divert me up to Calais or something, it's entirely up to them. This, this trailer uh, has fresh produce on it that, that needs to be in for, I'm assuming it's Monday morning. I'm assuming it's Monday morning. So I don't know what they want to do. It's up to themselves. All I can do is just put in the details. But they, I mean, they have me on a tracker anyway. So they can sit there at the computer and they can see, hmm, there's 2876, that needs to be in Cherbourg. It's not going to be in Cherbourg. So we have to think about plan B. I don't try and second guess what they're going to do. It's up to themselves. They're the ones who are running the show. I'm just a steering wheel attendant. I had a good sleep last night. The temperature was down, thankfully, to 21 degrees, and I parked right beside the uh, service area, the actual building itself. And I used this stuff, Vapona. And uh, as Rory says, he was asking a man, uh, he went into a shop, to buy some fly killer and uh, he picked up this and he says to the young fella he says uh, he says is this stuff any good for flies and wasps and he goes no it kills them <laughs> good man Rory that was funny I have to tell you is this any good for flies uh, no says your man it kills them <laughs> Jesus laughing he was laughing he was so uh, if you're on the continent and you're driving anywhere in a hot car, this is what you need to have. If you don't have that, you're gonna struggle. I actually had two of them and I gave one, I gave one to Arthur, uh, one of our uh, other drivers. I gave it to him in in, in uh, Barcelona yesterday. Uh, now I got eaten alive on Thursday night because I didn't spray that, but I sprayed that last night in around the bed area and I slept on top of the bed last night and I didn't get one single bite. And that's not to say that there wasn't any mozzies in the cab. I'm sure there was a couple of them hanging around, you know, but uh, that silenced them. So what we can do is what we can do. My plan is supposed to be going up to Sherbrooke, shipping this trailer and then swapping trailers with another guy tomorrow or try taking a trailer off some other guy tomorrow and then going on the direct boat. But this trailer here could very well be going on the direct boat as well. I mightn't have, that might be changed now. That plan might be changed because of the fact that this is not going to, um, what's going on there? Someone broke down, look at her. She broke down, she broke down in the hard show, in, in the, oh no, look at someone. Oh dear, oh dear. And I'd say the traffic now the reason that this traffic is slow now is because all the rubberneckers, look, starting to move now, look. Unreal. All the rubberneckers slowing down to have a good old gawk. 
this is what we're going to be up against now all day today uh, accidents well apart from the heavy weight of traffic which is going to be a nightmare there's going to be accidents as well which is going to add to compound the misery but look at come here i'm just going to dig deep as this, as the gmnc I'm going to put the shoulder to the wheel and we're going to dig deep we're going to dig deep and put the shoulder to the wheel and uh, we get to Sherbrook at some stage. Chat to you in a while. Bye for now. Now we're starting to move off now here. That wasn't too bad at all. You can see the same thing is happening on the people on the way in. They're on the um, westbound section of the slip road or the ring road. We should be okay now. We have 5.7 kilometers to our turn off onto the National 136. I did. Yes, Mo, what is it now? <clears throat> you mind if I say something to you, Ned? Uh, well, uh, you're probably going to say it anyway, Mo, even if I do mind. If I said, yeah, I do mind, would you still say it? I probably would, yeah. Well, then why do you ask me, do I mind, Mo? I, only, I, I, I was only saying that. What is it, Mo? What were you only saying? Do you, do you have to do a running commentary for every time you turn the wheel, Ned? It gets very boring, Ned. It, 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 well, yeah, it might get boring, but it's not as boring as you melting off all the time, Mo. Do you ever consider that? Do you ever consider that people don't actually like to listen to you whinging? I think they do, though, Ned. They like old Mo and the way I go on. Uh, what makes you think that? Uh, because I've more fans than you do. At least I can get on a boat without getting me bleeding head kicked in. Yes, uh, you, you know, there'd be no point in kicking your head in, Mo, because you're a dummy. You don't do anything, and if someone stood on your head, it wouldn't make any difference. But if someone stood on mine, it'd make an awful difference. I know that, but would you not keep your mouth shut now? Well, if you, I'll tell you what I'll do, Mo. I'll make an agreement with you, right? If you promise to keep your mouth shut, I'll keep my mouth shut. How would that be? Ah, uh, no way, no deal. I don't like that. Well, then shut up, Mo. Complaining. Might get a beer later on, will be, Ned? Well, I might. You, Mo. You you drank yours last night. I did not. Billy drank them. Three kilometres. Take the exit toward Escon. Absolutely fabulous weather. And as I said earlier on, I don't think, I think we've, we've got a pretty raw deal at home for the month of August. has been terrible, really. It's not been cold or anything, but it's been too wet. You know, we get enough rain for the rest of the year. For Jesus' sake, would you not give us a couple of months of dry weather? I know we had a good June and July was okay, but Jesus Christ, it's not winter time yet, you know. Don't be taking the Lord's name in vain, Ned. I didn't mean to, Mo. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I apologise. I will pray later on for forgiveness for the Lord. Good man. It has been horrible, though. I mean, the weather's been disgusting. Like, I mean, I was talking to my uh, children earlier on there, and they were saying that, you know, they have to use the clothes dryer to dry the clothes. Six hairs turn right and continue to follow the N136. Like, imagine, imagine in August... Imagine in August having to use a tumble dryer in your house to dry your clothes. I mean, Lord Turn God. Right at the first exit and continue to follow the N136. That's us here now. Please turn right. up for them we let them all on to Le Mans and Laval or wherever else they're going we'll we'll head around this way 222 to Cherbourg that's three hours from here so assuming we're going at 80 km an hour is average speed which would be doing well 3 eighths is 24, so that's 240 kilometres, and that's 222. So, ballpark, we're looking three hours to Sherbrooke from here. And we have three hours and, th and 53 minutes left on our card. So, we won't, use, we won't need to use the 10 after all, hopefully. Oh, yeah. right, laters. Route 
route that saves four minutes. If you prefer to stay on the current route, tap no thanks. No thanks. Yeah, you see, this is what it's all about. This is what it's all about. Traffic jams, sunshine, holiday makers. I'm bleeding hell now, I'm getting quite sick of this. He bleeding bladders like a bleeding basketball net. Yeah, well, it's, it serves you on for one and a half kilometers. It serves you right, Mo, for, for drinking all that beer last night. Ah, well, you weren't able to drink it, Ned. Yes, I know I was. Well, I was able to drink it, Mo, but I didn't want to drink it because of where I was parked, Mo. See, I'm the responsible one around here. You were just a gannet, Mo. Yeah, look in the mirror and tell me that again. Yes, I know I'm a little bit chubby, Mo, but that's just because of inactivity. Not. Slaughtering cans every night. <sighs> no point in having any secrets with you around, Mo, is there? Not a one. Not a single one. I'll just take a quick walk. There's the uh Stena Horizon. Now, I'm not sure. Maybe that goes to um, to the UK because not not all the boats that come into Cherbourg, obviously, are um, are going to Ireland. You know. You're going to get boats that are coming in here that are going to the UK as well. clearing up now nicely it was very misty and, and stuff earlier on but it's it's clearing up lovely now so we're on Sherberg port number four and we're getting the WB Yates is the ship that we're getting home and there is the lineup so far there's not that many trucks here I could only counting two four six eight ten twelve only about 12 14 15 trucks that I see here now maybe there's going to be more, maybe there's going to be a lot more going to arrive shortly, but at the moment I, I don't see that many. I know last night now the Stena Line boat was, was fully booked. Um, yeah, Sherbrooke, sure, I didn't get a chance really to walk around today because the weather was kind of crappy this morning. I wanted to do a bit of a walk around, but I didn't really get a chance. Be nice to be able to get on this a little bit earlier today. Um, but sure, I suppose we'll be on it for long enough when we do get on. So there is the DAF. Yeah, I like the DAF, you know. I always like the DAF. Well, gentlemen, how are we getting on today? I'm not too bad, Ned. I'm all right now. Waiting to get on this boat, get a few beers, like you know. Yeah, so am I waiting to get on. Get a few beers is right, uh, Billy. We, we we go to the bar. We will. Uh, hold on, gentlemen. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, I have a couple of questions to ask first. Um, Mo, what happened to you yesterday? What happened to the dubs? I don't want to talk about it. Well, I'd like to talk about it, Mo. You lost, Mo. Well, yeah, we did, yeah, but we won seven. How many of you won? Um. Uh, a one, I think. There, there you go. So shut your mouth. I'm old. Like, I was only having a bit of crack with you. Yeah, geez, you know what? And I was talking to Animator this morning there. He's talking very funnily in order, you know? It's a bit worrying, like. Ah, you know what I mean, Bill? Little old anime. You were away for a long time, weren't you, Bill? And it's only because you're a mate I help look after anime. Hey, what do you mean you looked after, like? Ah, you know what I mean, Bill? I looked after her, you know what I mean? Things that you couldn't do for her when you was in jail. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, no, I'm not too fond of the idea of that now. If I find out you'll be near my woman, you know what's going to happen, don't you? What's going to happen? Nothing. Hmm. Hmm. Hello, people. Ned, can you take that bit of dust from my eye, please? Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, I was sleeping in the same bed as Billy last night, and his hair is all over the place. Ned. Can't you see Billy's hair? It's as wild as a bush. Hair, yeah, not wrong with my hair. Look at your own hair. Is there anything wrong with my hair, Ned? Mo, is there anything wrong with my hair? No, Grandad, your hair is lovely. I wish I had hair like you, Grandad. Oh, thank you, Mo. Mo has been very pleasant today. Yeah, you know why that is, Grandad. Why is that, Ned? Because he can't wait to get on the boat so he can start lashing off the pints. Ah, oh, yes, I knew there'd be a reason. Mo would never be nice. Just to be nice, he has to have a reason. No, I don't. Shut up. Mo, you don't get to tell me to shut up. Like you tell Billy. Shut up. Isn't that right, Ned? Yeah, that's right. You can't tell him to shut up. You don't own this truck, Mo. You don't own this truck, Mo. Isn't that true, people? Ned, there's still some stuff on my eye. Oh, sorry, Grandad. Now. Yes, thank you very much. Well, gentlemen, did you enjoy the trip to Spain and France? Not really, no. Yeah, well, I only got to saw a bit of it, like, because he's picked me up down a Mac on there. Otherwise, I, I missed the first bit of it. Yeah, that's okay, Billy. Um, well, are you uh, going to turn your life around now, Billy? And be a good boy? I don't know. I'll have to wait and see now, you know. I'm expected back to court now next month, so it depends on what kind of a sentence I got from the judge, you know. I hope he locks you a bleeding way. Why would you say that, Mo? Because I look after Anna Mae. If you don't worry about Anna Mae, I look after her. <laughs> Mo's looking after Anna Mae. Well, I'll be damned. Okay, people. Um, <clears throat> I have to get ready to uh, get on this boat. And I might meet some nice elderly woman like myself. Yeah, someone that's seen all you mean. Yeah, someone that's gone seen all you might meet. Gentlemen, please, don't ruin it all. You've been so nice for the last ten minutes. Bye-bye, people. Bye-bye. Thank God he's gone, Ned. Leave him alone, Mo. Sorry.